So, hello guys and welcome to the new tutorial about the NYX software SilverFX Pro and uh, in this one I'll show you how to use the 3 step filter uh, preset in the SilverFX Pro First let's open a picture and what I'm gonna do is I'll just uh, make it a little smaller so it's easier to work on turn it into landscape mode and uh, I'll cut it uh, I'll according to the rule of thirds but uh, this will create a little uh, dead space uh, on the left side and uh, I'll just uh, very quickly fast forward and fixing that sky over there just make a copy of the sky that already exists blur it and uh, check at 100% see if uh, there is anything visible no it kinda looks good and uh, here we can look at the skin of the girl it's not uh, it's not very soft so uh, in order to use the tristy filter uh, I'll just uh, make her skin softer first in the color effects pro from NYX software again uh, sample the skin and uh, make uh, some changes to the to the dynamic skin softener filter and increase the large details, the medium details a little bit and uh, just let it run and now you can see the skin is way softer now but um, the problem is that her uh, tone of the skin and tone of her hair is uh, very similar so that uh, filter blurred her hair so I'll just uh, make a copy of the layer and uh, remove the hair that's blurred just kinda erase the whole thing just to save time and normally I'll do this uh, very carefully but to save time in this tutorial I'll just go very harsh and remove all the hairs and you can see that the difference is significant the hair is still has the texture and her skin uh, weight is softer so now let's open the the silver effects pro and I'll just scroll directly to the triste filter since this is the one we really care about and um, the triste filter is a very nice way to make uh, a picture subtle and it will give you very uh, dull effect on your uh, photos but uh, it's not uh, something to be afraid of and uh, experiment with and I think this uh, picture looks great being filtered this way but I'm, I wasn't happy with uh, it was just too dark so I'll just uh, increase the mid-tones brightness and uh, contrast in the mid-tones as well and um, let's take a look at the yeah the mid-tones brightness uh, kind of needs to get increased one more time uh, it's very grainy picture it's shot at 640 ISO and the filter as well is very grainy so I'll just uh, add some more grains to the picture uh, right now it's 254 but um, but yeah you can see it's still pretty grainy so I'll just lower down the structure as well and let's see what happens okay as you can see there is a lot of uh, things that can be adjusted in the silver effects that's why it's such a great tool to have uh, to buy and to have around so let's go at 315 and a little softer grain and this kind of looks uh, good to me let's add some uh, let's go down to the finishing adjustments and add uh, and vignette the picture a little bit make it uh, a little darker on the sides and I think this this kind of creates uh, atmosphere and you can also uh, not always play with uh, some toning it's a very yellowish picture so a little yellow wouldn't hurt but I, I really enjoyed uh, being straight uh, gray and black and white 
So I'll just leave it like that and let it render. So this is the result. And uh, I'm not very happy with the way it looks, so I'll just adjust the levels a little bit, uh, make compress it a bit and make it a little more pop, let it pop a little bit. There we go. That kind of looks good. And this is how it rendered. This is the end result, so I'll just merge them. And this is the picture that you end up with. I don't think it's uh, such a bad uh, rendering of this photo. It is the beginning. And it's way different. I mean, it's a huge difference between the two pictures, the things that they show and the atmosphere that they create. So I just really enjoy having a black and white. And the girl is such a great model. Uh, that I wanted to have a black and white photo of her as well. So I'll just flatten it and save it and send it to her. I hope you enjoyed uh, everything you saw. And uh, of course this is something that you should experiment with and play around. But uh, yeah. I hope you had a... You saw the way I uh, used this filter and uh, you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.